is the main window you'll see when you open My Desktop Therapist. Currently I have one program installed named Change My Life, which was the default that came with the software. At the bottom of the screen I can click on the Click Here link to access additional resources regarding this program. Here you see that list of resources. I'll click on the top one for a PDF file called Change Your Mind and as you can see I can download that file and view this as an additional resource from this program. Clicking on the back button will send us back to the main window. Over on the left I can click on Programs where you can see that I have the one installed and I can choose to install a new one or I can also choose to create my own. You'll learn more details on this process in later videos. Clicking on Start will take us back to the main window once again. Next I'll click on the Settings icon. And this shows you the various settings that you can change for your My Desktop Therapist software. We'll go into more detail on these in a later video. The last icon on the left here is the Update icon. This will allow you to check for updates to the My Desktop Therapist software at any time. Now back at the Start page, if you click on the top right you have access to the Quick Help menu. This is a quick and easy way to find out how to get around the My Desktop Therapist software should you have any questions. And click on the double arrow there to close the Quick Help menu. To minimize the software to your taskbar, click on the minus button located at the top right inside the yellow icon and it will then be minimized into your taskbar area along with any other open programs. Clicking on the icon on the taskbar will open it back up. Clicking on the red X icon at the top right will close the program, however it will stay open in the quick launch area at the bottom right of your taskbar. At the bottom left of the main window is an RSS feed that will keep you up to date with special reports and other information related to the My Desktop Therapist software. This concludes the Getting Started video tutorial. Please check out our other videos for more information on using your My Desktop Therapist software.